Hi, Ka. Thank you for joining us. We'll just have you hit on mute really quickly. Perfect. We'll start with Eric Wilson. Hey, Ka. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Uh, so I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions. My first one was, um, you know, what did it mean to you when you got all those uh, confetti bunt cakes? Oh my goodness. So if you know me, you know, that's like my favorite, favorite place ever. Uh, it just meant so much for them to actually acknowledge me as a person and also as a WNBA player and just to provide that for everybody and not just me and uh, me being able to share my favorite snack with uh, everybody in the league. So it was great. I loved it. And then uh, secondly, you know, given this unique circumstance, you ladies being in the wobble, going through everything that you're going through, could you just speak to, you know, the book that you're reading, Be Still and Know? How has that helped you, you know, stay mentally focused during this time? Uh, I think that it's important to just live in the now and uh, just focus on what you have in front of you and just win, like, win every moment that you have and not just thinking too far ahead and staying right on top of where you are in life and just trying to really lock in on where you're trying to go. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Debbie Antonelli from ESPN. Hello there, Ms. Copper. Um, hey. Debbie Antonelli, I want to ask you about your improvement, about Cheyenne's improvement, about Gabby's improvement. You got three players that have significantly improved from last year to this year. Specifically for you, what do you think has been the biggest difference? Opportunity. I think um, I've always been trying to be ready when my name was called in a it's just about the preparation for me. And I think as long as I had been preparing and just stay focused on what I could do and what I knew I could do and staying confident in that. And when the opportunity presents itself, I'm always just ready. Is there anything specifically you worked on so that you could bring great, greater balance to your game? I think that I really focused on trying to be a, a two-way player. I want, I know I'm that player here that can play both ends of the floor. And I'm really like uh, embracing that. And I think James is really challenging me to be that person for us. And uh, I think that it's just focusing on the little things, um, how my mechanics with my feet defensively and just shooting is just, just staying confident and just getting the shots up. Thank you so much. Maddie, Kenny with the Sun-Times. Hey, um, so I just have a quick question. Wade has talked a lot about, you know, during free agency, you guys had conversations about how he knew that you had more to your game than what you already displayed. You already displayed a lot last season, including the second playoff game. Um, what has it felt to just kind of have this success? I know we're only four games in, going to be five games in tonight into the season, but what has it been to kind of be able to rise this opportunity and, you know, be a player that people are looking out for now? Uh, it's humbling. It's rewarding uh, just to be, I have been so patient and I, I don't regret anything. And I just, I appreciate the process more than anything. And I just, uh, I really can give myself credit to just always staying ready and staying locked in, never getting too high, never getting too low. And when I get the opportunity just to be able to be there and be consistent. So I just have to give myself more credit than I usually do. And then a quick follow-up. Um, when you talk about the process, what's been the hardest part? Uh, I think the, uh, you know, everybody just, everybody wants to play, you know. Um, you, you know you're good enough, you're here, but it's just the sacrifices that you have to make. And um, a sacrifice that you make is to win the championship, whether you play 20, 25 minutes or whether you play two minutes. You, you just give it your all and you just try to bring that consistency to what you have to the team. Thank you. Jason Shaver. Hey, James Wade talked uh, last offseason about you being one of the biggest keys to signing and making sure that you were on board. When he was recruiting you as a free agent to stay with Chicago, what appealed to you the most? I didn't hear the last part, sorry. When, when James was trying to make sure that you stayed and re-signed with Chicago, what appealed to you the, the most was staying with the Sky as opposed to looking elsewhere for a better opportunity? Uh, my teammates. Uh, I think that we have a really we we sh we shaped a a great culture here. We just shaped a great um, genuineness and um, just a friendship and just that that camaraderie. I think that we have something that no other team has, and I think that it was just important for me to to come back after last season 
and just be with my, my sisters. I think that we have a we have a family here. I think we've built something great over these years and for me to leave it really doesn't make a lot of sense. Thank you. James K. Hey, Kalia, thanks for your time. Um, you know, in a season that's in you know, a traditional season that's not stunted by a pandemic, you usually are able to see your former teammates either on the road, like when you go out or when they come to you at home. Um, in this situation, have you been able to uh, reconnect with the Stu Do and Katie Lou Samuelson um, or, or just any of your former teammates uh, now that you're all together in the bubble? Uh, yeah, you, you see everybody around. Um, it's more fun when you see them after you beat them, but uh, <laughs> you, you see everybody around, which is cool. I have other friends on other teams also, but yeah, I get to connect with my old teammates and uh, it's, it's it's great. It's cool. It's just like sleep away camp, kind of like everybody's here and you get to see everybody, but yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome. We have time for a couple more questions. Um, John G. Good morning. Um, I was just wondering, is there any part of the travel experience that you miss while you're playing or playing and being in the bubble? Uh, I could say I actually, I miss like different cities, uh, seeing different cities and just, but I, I don't mind the not traveling because it, it's, it's, the season is so condensed and it would take such a toll on our bodies just to be traveling so much. So I can appreciate just being in one place and playing, but um, I just miss like just different cities, seeing things different. Thank you. Debbie Antonelli, BSPN. Kalia, what does Sydney Colson do for your rotations? I mean, you guys already play fast. Does she add something or what, what will she bring that might be different or unique? I think, first of all, Sydney brings a, a, just the energy to our team. I think she just adds to the great culture and the great people that we have, which is important for us outside of basketball. But on the court, I think she just brings that defensive presence and just that pace. She's going to bring a, a great pace for us, where it's, it's no letdowns when uh, we make substitutions. So that's the great part about our team also, is when making substitutions, there's no letdown. And uh, we're just going to keep, she's going to keep the pace up for us, and she's going to play really good defense. Eric Wilson. Hey, uh, Kai, I wanted to ask you, you know, going up against the wings this evening, how important is it for you ladies to keep them from getting to the free throw line? Because this team right now is, you know, they've got a streak going when it comes to free throws. I think that's a major part of our game plan is defending without fouling. I think it's important. They're going to get a lot of shots up and we're going to have to contest without fouling and make them shoot the shots that we want them to shoot. And uh, just like you said, not fouling, I think that's going to be a really key, especially just watching other games and how they've come back into games. And if we minimize the, the free throws and the points in the paint, and we'll, we'll be okay. Great. Thank you, Ka. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. We'll have Azrae Steven next. Oh. How are you? Doing well. Can you just speak a little bit about what it means to play against your former team tonight? Yeah, um, like you said, no justice, no peace. Another day, another day that's gone by without the cops who killed um, Breonna Taylor being arrested. So we're going to keep talking about that. Um, but I mean, yeah, obviously I was just there last year and I started my end the year before. Um, but we're going to treat it like every other team. Um, the goal is to win and to play our game and play as good as we can. So that's my focus going into the game. And uh, I asked Kyle this question, how are you going to keep these ladies from getting to the foul line? Right now they've got an active free throw streak. Um, how are you ladies going to keep them from getting there? Yeah, that's just our focus is to defend without fouling. Um, hands up, not coming down. Um, force them to drive, but again, like make them finish over us. We have height on this team. We have a lot of length even in our guards. Um, so I think we can do a better job of that, of just uh, making teams finish over us instead of fouling at the end. Thank you. Debbie Antonelli. Hey, Azare, how would you grade your performance so far um, coming off of injury last year in, in terms of, you know, how you feel, your fitness, and 
Um, you know, what's your own scouting report on how you've played so far? Um, I mean, I feel good. Uh, I definitely got tired a little bit there the uh, last couple of games, um, but I do feel pretty good coming off the injury, being able to play as much as I have been playing. Um, uh, I mean, my scouting report against myself, I guess, would just be, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I think I've done a little bit of everything. Um, I posted up. I've shot from the outside pretty well. I've taken things off the dribble. Um, I'm good in the pick and roll. So I would just say, like, playing sound defense. Um, I mean, I'm sure most teams are going to try to play me physical. Um, that's always been in the scouting report, report against me. Um, so, yeah. Azure, that sounds like a, a scouting report for Satu Savali that you'll face tonight. I know you might be matched up on her a little bit tonight. What, what would you need to do to be able to contain her? Yeah, I think um, – I believe she's lefty, so forcing her right um, on the drives, um, but keeping a high hand on her, respecting her jump shot. I know she's missed a little bit, but she is a good shooter. Um, I think she's just getting adjusted to WNBA play, um, but she's also really active on the boards as well, so we're definitely focusing on that. And honestly, just for their team in general, they, they rebound the ball pretty well, so we're focusing on that too for her, but also for um, all the other players as well. Right, and we have a special guest, you guys, Pepper Persley, who's nine years old, and she has her own show. So, Pepper, you have a question for Ezra? Um, I know two weekends ago you played for Brianna Taylor, and this past weekend you were playing for Sandra Bland. What do you hope young fans will learn and take away from the WNBA's activism this season? Um, we're just hoping to spread awareness on these things, use our platform to bring awareness on all the social injustice that's going on. Um, we want to make sure that we're using our platform for these women who have been killed um, and bringing awareness to that. Um, we know that we have fans that listen to us and they like watching us play, but we're more than just players. Um, we're active participants in this fight for social injustice. So that's basically what we want fans to take away from um, all the awareness that we're spreading. And, and even personally for our team, we want them to get involved on ways that they can make actual change. So Sky Takes Action is something that we came up with and um, we've had a lot of help with the fans and we want to continue to bring that on throughout the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Pepper, that was a great question. John G. Hi, Ezra. Hello. How has um, how is the short schedule with the, the quick turnaround, how has that affected your workouts? Um, I can't lie, it's been pretty tough. Um, I think just coming back for everyone, it's been hard, but um, I had a few extra months that I was away from playing. Um, so I think my body's really just getting adjusted to like all of this load at once. Um, so it hasn't been easy, but I mean, I'm doing rehab and treatment twice a day. Um, every day as much as I can. Um, so that's really all that I can do right now until my body gets adjusted to the load that um, that we're going through. But I mean, I'm pretty hopeful that this is the second week. Like last week was probably a bigger shock to my body. Um, but now like we've done a week of it. So I think my body will be more adjusted to it this week. Thank you very much. Thanks. Jake Meister. Hi, Z. Sorry, I had to unmute there. Um, with respect to just you talk about the condensed schedule, right? How have this, you know, kind of extended break between games, how has that helped you just kind of get your recovery back? Yeah, um, any time when I can just take a full day of doing like nothing, it's really good for my body. <laughs> um, so whenever we have that, that's what I do. Um, we were off uh, two days ago and like I didn't do anything. I didn't do treatment. I didn't do anything. I just let my body like rest fully for a whole day. Um, and so I think with that, um, with getting back into moving around yesterday and then shoot around this morning and just treatment yesterday, like I'm feeling pretty good going into this week of games. Um, and yeah. And off the court, I see you've been pretty busy on TikTok. Should we be expecting uh, more content from you pretty soon? Yes, you should. I love TikTok. Um, me and Olaf's daughter, we made one the other day, but like our team loves doing them, which I love too. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you guys should expect more from us at some point while we're here. Cool. Look forward to it. Thank you. Thanks.
Okay, great. Thank you, Z. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yep.